Of course, there is another school dealing with tragedy tonight, and we have learned that Fenville High School's next basketball game is being moved again. Just like last night's, Fenville's game will be played at Hope College to accommodate the large crowd expected. The Blackhawks will take on Bangor at 7.30 tomorrow night. Tickets go on sale at Fenville and Bangor High Schools at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Now, we're told that more tickets will be released at noon out at Hope, we have all of the information posted at woodtv.com. Today, family, friends, a whole community turned out to say goodbye to 16-year-old Wes Leonard during an emotional funeral service in Holland. We all have pictures, images of Wes. And he has his arm around his mother. And he's rocking back and forth. And then I see, her, see him jabber a couple easy times. It happened many times. And I was amazed that a young man who would, in front of hundreds of people, be willing to show the love that he had for his mother in such a way. So. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker is in studio with us now with more on how Fenville is saying goodbye to Wes. Ken? Susie, the 1,500 mourners who gathered at Christ Memorial Church in Holland to remember number 35 outnumbered the entire population of Fenville by 100. That left the lakeshore town with its streets lined in black and orange flags almost empty. Usually this side from here over is always full, packed all the time in the mornings, but not this morning. But even those who couldn't make it to today's funeral 20 miles to the north in Holland were remembering Wes Leonard in their own way. Wes went out on a high. I mean, if you're going to take him, he flew to glory. He flew through that hoop and he went right to glory. The junior point guard was remembered today as a humble star who led his team to heights never before reached in Fenville. But family and friends also remembered him as a kid who ate an earthworm for a dollar, who loved locker room pranks but wouldn't stand for bullies, and who was close to God. Wesley James Leonard was born... Today, even members of opposing teams, including the entire football and basketball teams from neighboring Saugatuck, were brought to tears. Wes Leonard was a star quarterback for the Blackhawks. I like playing him because it made you, made you do your best, too. And uh, just uh, being around him made you want to be a better person. These incredible highs and lows for Fenville, its high school, and its basketball team began on Thursday. Wes Leonard's layup with seconds left clinched an undefeated season. Then moments later, he collapsed to the same gym floor with a heart attack. Then last night, the team won in front of a sold-out crowd at Hope College, where coaches and players said they felt his presence. It's a learning process, isn't it? I mean, if we went through life and we just set all highs, how would we cope with the lows? And the highs and lows is what brings maturity. Those basketball players matured by years. Then today, the funeral with a packed church. His coaches helping his pallbearers. And, and a rap song written by two classmates. I had told Wes that I was going to make a song about him, but just about how great of an athlete he was. I didn't think I, I was going to have to go to the extent to make a song like this for him. After the, church, after the funeral outside the church, classmates released orange and black balloons, 35 of them. Wes Leonard's jersey number. Ken Colker, thank you for that report. Our coverage continues at woodtv.com. There you can watch the entire funeral for Wes Leonard. We also have a photo gallery posted from last night's game.